What's up guys, CP Modi here, back with another video, and yes, we're in a little bit of a different set because the set's over there, we're actually at my desk PC, uh, because we're going to be taking a look at some stuff that is on sale for our Black Friday here on the internet. So usually, here in Australia, Black Friday isn't really the biggest thing at all, really. Uh, I mean, there are some sales usually, but this year and also to last year, it's been pushed a lot more by stores because, well, obviously it is pretty popular for a lot of people out there. So I thought, why not go ahead and take a look at what is actually for sale here on Black Friday. Now, as of releasing this video, so the video that comes out today is when I shot it, so it's going to be hopefully all just one take and we can just all do just upload it very, very easily. So, uh, yeah, for a lot of people who aren't really from Australia, Black Friday isn't exactly the biggest thing like it is maybe over in the US. But being technology focused, uh, that definitely does bring us into Black Friday. And this year, we're going to be doing something about it. So, uh, we're just going to go have a look at some local shops and also to over on Amazon uh, to see what they do have on sale. So just to give you some context as to how really big or really not that big um, Black Friday is, we'll just take a look at the desktop here. And this is the Amazon page. Honestly, other than this banner right here that sort of scrolls across, uh, you wouldn't even know that it's Black Friday. There's like a couple things that are saying Black Friday, uh, but there's not that big thing. So, uh, yeah. So it's just not that much of a big sale. Anyway, so if we take a look over here at the Scorp Tech Computers website, this is a store that I go to all the time. I There's physical ones not too far from where I do live, so it's pretty easy to head down there. And this is a great example of how Black Friday isn't that much of a big deal. There's a big banner here talking about Black Friday and they've obviously changed their background, but this is a Facebook and Instagram promotion. And then if you look at the rest of the store, it's not really that much to do with Black Friday. These deals have been here for quite some time. Uh, you're getting a few dollars off a motherboard. You've got a cheaper SD card, which really shouldn't even be $25. You've got a, uh, what is this, 2070 for 1000 Honestly, there's not that much going on here over at Scorp Tech. And even if we go, let's say if we want to take a look at, uh, let's take a look at some RAM because that's generally really expensive. DDR4, uh, they've got a couple bundles, a couple sales, but again, honestly, Black Friday, not the biggest deal here in Australia. So uh, that is basically out. What is another one that we do go to? Centercom is another store that I do go to that is in walking distance, whereas Scorp Tech's a couple minutes drive, and they're definitely much more on the Black Friday bandwagon. So we've got actually quite a few deals here and just taking a bit of a look through here first thing that does grab my eye uh wd red i might actually not i actually might take that deal that's uh 169 usually these drives are around uh around 200 dollars when i bought them at the start of the year so 169 not a bad deal right there for that wd red um uh, that wd blues also not bad 77 dollars um, SSDs, SSDs are definitely something that's really good value during, um, Black Friday sales. They've come down a lot recently. Um, there's this guy here, 500 gig drive for $103. Now, I don't believe they actually say what the original price was, so it might just be its continued, uh, price, but whether or not it's on sale or not, $100 for 500 gigs of storage isn't bad at all. I mean, 500 gigs SSD... Oof, that's a bit of storage and used to cost quite a bit of money. Bit of a discount here on the 250 gig drive. Uh, monitor land isn't too bad right here. And um, general things that are a bit of a, eh, not the world's biggest deal uh, in terms of stuff. Video card 2070, that's actually not a bad deal. So 2070, what, uh, 799 here at Centercom. And then if we go back over to Scorp Tech that we saw just a moment ago, uh, I believe I read one out for about $1,000. So if we go down here, where are we looking here? Yeah. So even though, yes, they are different brands and different pricing, that kind of stuff, uh, about $1,000 for a 2070 versus $799 for that one. Would I buy it? Uh, probably not. It's still very, very expensive, but hey, Bit of a discount there, nevertheless. Uh, other stuff that does grab my attention, not exactly a whole bunch here. Uh, definitely keyboards and mice. I think keyboards and mice are one of the better things to buy uh, during these sales because a lot of time they are heavily discounted, like this guy right here. $40 off right there, which isn't too bad deal. Yes, not everyone is a fan of Razer peripherals, but hey, not a bad deal there. Um, I think, I've, I think yeah, that's the one that we did not give away. That's their weird mechanical membrane thing that isn't really everyone's favorite but uh moving on down oh 10 terabytes for four and four hundred and forty five dollars not bad 
Um, other thing, ooh, 10, damn, that's not bad. 1060 for 445, I think that's the lowest I've ever seen a 1060, period. I don't think I've seen one any cheaper than that price. It's the six gig model, so that's not too bad there. Um, that's something I may actually just pick up for later sale or something like that. I don't know, we'll keep that in mind. I'll open that up in a new tab and uh, pull that off to the side. Uh, moving on down, what else do we find? Uh, some networking gear, not really the greatest. We've got a Centercom PC, a bit of a discount right there. Bunch of weird RAM, not too bad. Uh, nothing really stands out that really grabs my attention. Ooh, having a look here, the NZXT Kraken, uh, their little 120 mil unit for 149, that's not bad. Um, I think again, that's one of the lowest prices. It's like what, 30 some dollars off, which isn't too bad there. Especially if you're building a new system, that isn't a bad price to be looking at that. Not everyone needs a massive uh, 240 unit. So hey, 120, that's not too bad there. Uh, in terms of motherboards, what do they have on sale for motherboards? Can we scroll all the way up to motherboards? Here we go. Uh, how do you use this website? Computer parts, M for motherboards. We'll go for Intel motherboards. Let's see what they got. Uh, on sale, not that much. Okay, I thought their website was a little bit better than this, but overall not too bad. There are definitely some good deals, especially on storage and peripherals. That's definitely where we're seeing uh, some pretty decent discounts. There's a little bit on laptops. So for example, this Acer Predator is a couple hundred dollars off. Not too bad there. Um, they're not as good as what they could be, I guess. Um, sort of getting rid of a little bit of their older stock. Oh, here's something that I really don't like. This is a 1052 gig. Now we did a video, I think it's in one of these corners. I don't know which way it is when I'm using this camera. Either way, it's in one of these corners. Uh, this guy is the stupidest card and it's selling for $209. So this is actually the cut down 1050, the 1052 gigabyte OC card. Nothing against MSI, but damn, $209 for not really that great of a 1050. Oh, not the greatest deal. Oh, why this guy's not on sale is a bit beyond me, but $14 for a 32 gig drive. This is their USB-C flash drive. I uh, think if you don't have a USB-C drive, get one now because we're kind of in that weird limbo stage, but I can guarantee you in a year or two's time, a lot more devices will be supporting USB-C and $14 isn't bad. It's made by SanDisk. It has reputable flash. I kind of wish that was on sale for like $10, $5, something like that, uh, but definitely pretty cool little deal there. Um, I do have one of these guys. I haven't made a video about it yet. I don't think I'm making a video about it because it's a USB flash drive. I mean, there's not that much, but I do have an idea for raiding some. So I don't know. Do stay tuned for that. Maybe we'll do a video. Maybe we won't. I don't know. We'll keep going with having a look right here. Um, oh, Kingston, that's not a bad discount. So 139 down to 79. Pretty cool there. I'd use this at PAX. I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of it. It is Cherry MX Red, which I don't mind that key switch, but uh, I don't really know. Um, but hey, cool price, $78 for what is 139. That's not bad. I guess that's about it for actual Centercom deals. I mean, I've scrolled through so many deals, they're kind of running out there. We'll head over to Amazon and we'll click on their Black Friday sale. We'll just move that there so it's easier for me to edit, less blurring and stuff like that. So, taking a look at Amazon's deal, they are really not the greatest, to be honest. I mean, dishwasher stuff for $16, yeah, great. Uh, wow, that's, uh, can we just search by tech? Maybe that's going to be a little bit more uh, better for this video. Okay, sorted by technology, that's a little bit better, uh, but still the discounts are really not that great. Why is this all camera stuff? We want electronics, like computers and electronics, that's all. Oh, if I tick computers, that might be a little bit more helpful. We'll just get rid of electronics because we are focused on computers. Let's have a look. Ooh, we have a deal from Samsung uh, to go ahead and have a look at their T5 drives. That's not really that great. How much of a discount is that? Doesn't say how much of a discount we're getting. Anyway, uh, I guess grab yourself a deal there. And it's taken us all the way back out here. So jumping back over here, uh, let's take a look at what we get on the general kind of thing. These things are always cool. I love these like HDMI little screen things. I don't actually know what they're uh, properly called, but uh, they're just little displays. In this case, it's a touchscreen display that connects up via HDMI thing. It's like all exposed electronics. I believe they're for Raspberry Pis or something like that, uh, but you can always modify them and adapt them to other standards. They're seven inch. This guy's seven inch in this case, which looks to be 800 by 400. 
uh, not the highest resolution, but um, the reason why I like these things so much is they're really handy to like place around the house if you want to have like smart interactive things uh, that are easy to run. I really do love this guy and for $61, that isn't too bad. So um, that's something I might pick up. I'll have to add that to a uh, list later. Let's, can I just, uh, let's, let's open that in new tab so I can remember to come back to it. Uh, moving on down. These guys are always handy. I think Amazon's got the best deal so far from this whole Black Friday video. 25% off one of these little USB-C dongle things if you are a Mac user. That's a pretty cool deal for you. Moving on to another page. What have we got here? I love these like little weird electronic things. They're not... I'm not the biggest fan of like, you know, sales of keyboards and that kind of stuff in Black Friday. I love these weird little things. Um, these are just little jumper cable thingies. We've got like a PCB guys over here. If we open this guy up. Yep, just standard little electronic PCBs that allow you to um, prototype and make your own little bits and pieces. This is something that I really get excited for. $11, not too bad there. How many pieces do you get? 32 pieces, that's not too bad and you get all the different sizes. Again, I love DIY electronics, I love custom stuff and uh, these kind of things I absolutely love. So, might even pick some of them up for myself. Moving on, um, what have we got here? We've got some discounts on memory cards, that's not too bad there. Page number three, there's so many pages. Uh, oh, we got this guy. This guy's starting soon. I actually have this microphone set up. I don't know if you can actually see in that corner over there, but I've got this exact uh, power injector and microphone and stuff. Definitely not too bad quality. I was going to use it on this video. However, that microphone prefers to be a lot more closer like this rather than further away like this one. So it's got a different pickup pattern. Doesn't really work too well for these kind of style videos, but definitely for voiceovers uh, on the channel, I've been using this microphone. Not too bad there. So uh, that starts, I guess, by the time you're watching this video, that would be already live. And if it is a decent deal, um, I give it a thumbs up. I guess it's not too bad of a microphone, but if you're expecting to be this kind of a distance, so what am I, about 30 centimeters from the microphone, it doesn't work too well for that kind of stuff. Definitely a lot more close gear uh, works a lot better. CD drive, uh, that's, I guess everyone needs one of them. Hopefully that's not a too bad deal. I guess we're getting into the sort of the section where the deals aren't exactly live. So it looks like Amazon's kind of staggering the deals, which is a little bit of a disappointment for people like me trying to make videos right now. Um, but yeah, that's not too bad. And I guess also to the uh, NW800 is the slightly higher end version. I think it is, though don't quote me on that one, 800 is higher than the other number. So I guess that kind of makes sense. Um, but that kind of rounds out the deals from the Amazon in the computer department. Uh, oh, don't buy this guy. Not a very good deal. No, nothing against TP-Link, uh, but this is the 450 and it is slow. It is rip your hair out. So I have one of them over in that uh, old Junker PC that we threw together. It is just very, very slow. I do not like it. Um, not my favorite thing. So I went ahead and jumped over to the uh, electronic section of the deals and it wouldn't be an Amazon uh, discount thing if we didn't get a massive discount on their Echo. So this is what is this? Echo Plus first generation for $99 short, maybe first gen, but hey, it's a bit of a discount. I'm not the biggest fan of smart home stuff. I don't actually own any smart home stuffs. Um, I just don't have much of a use for it. I mean, hey, everyone has a phone and every Android phone has access to the um, Google Assistant. So, eh. And then I guess if you're an iPhone user, you got Siri. So for me, smart home stuff uh, doesn't really make that much of a difference um, in terms of what I actually do on a day-to-day -day basis. So, eh, not the biggest deal for me. Oh, I guess also to the Echo Dot second gen gets a bit of a discount. That's not too bad. Honestly, if I was a bit more into smart home for $39, I probably would be picking this guy up uh, because it is such a decent discount. Again, not the biggest fan, so I'm probably just going to let that one slide. I guess if you want to pick one up, go for it. And that's almost about it. I just had a quick look at this top section. Definitely this GoPro gets my interest for $179 for the Hero 5, which is, I believe, the latest one. Or maybe they came out with the 6 already. I don't know what version they're up to at the moment because I've sort of lost track of the GoPros, but uh, I think, actually no, this is the GoPro Sessions, so it's a little small one, so, but still $179 isn't too bad down from $273, uh, so that's a deal that I'll definitely keep a close eye on, I'll open that one up in new tab, and um, just some camera stuff, so what is the 60 Mark II, eh, that's not too bad deal, um, but I don't think there's much else in terms of the actual deals that are kind of interesting for tech people here. I mean, there's like routers and stuff that's a little bit of a discount, but not that much of a discount. So, 
yeah, that about wraps it up for the actual deals you can get. So there we go. That's about it for the Amazon slash Black Friday in general deals here. Um, do note though, all the prices that I was talking about is in Australian dollars. So if you're watching this and you're like, those are terrible prices. Actually, they're pretty good for Australian prices. Um, that's about it for what we do have for the Black Friday deals. Definitely a couple things that really interest me. Those PCBs definitely interested me. Uh, that little screen definitely interested me. And a couple other things like the uh, SSD and the video card definitely was interested me but in typical Black Friday fashion there's a lot of things you just don't want that are on sale that you probably will end up buying anyway because it's on sale like little adapters and stuff like that um, but definitely I guess sort of my things that I'm keeping an eye out for obviously adapters there's storage keyboards uh, those are the main things that I'm definitely interested in as well as weird little DIY PCB kind of things like that overall though again not the world's biggest deals honestly with Black Friday being pushed more and more recently I kind of would have hoped uh, that there's more stuff but um no, it's not really the greatest deal. So I guess with that being said, let me know down in that comment section if you found any awesome deals during Black Friday. I found a couple, but they weren't exactly the world's greatest deal. So do let me know what you find down in that comment section. So the do note uh, links will just get the comment auto removed by YouTube. So I guess just tell us what you found. Anyway, guys, thanks all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.